Hello friends, my name is Piyush. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am a Microsoft Certified Consultant. In this tutorial video, I will show you how you can consume and test finance and operation web services in Postman tool. This one is my finance and operation instance. Before starting and testing APIs in Postman tool, you need to register an app in portal.azure.com. Go to portal.azure.com. In the left menu, click on Azure Active Directory. In the left, click on App Registration. Register a new app plus new registration. Provide a meaningful name. Choose who can access this API. Here in the drop down select web. Here you need to fill your instance of D65. Copy and paste it here. Register. It will create an application in your portal.azure.com. Now your application has been created. Now Go to API permission. Provide necessary permissions. Plus add a permission. Here select Microsoft Dynamics ERP. This one. Provide delegated permission. Select full access. Custom service full access. OData full access. Click on application permission, select connector.full access, add permission. Now grant admin consent, click on grant admin consent for self. Permission has been granted. Now generate a secret. Click on clients, certificates and secrets here. Click on plus new secret. Choose the expiry period. Click add. Copy this secret value. This secret value will be required when you start testing D65 Finance and Operation API in Postman and paste it somewhere on a notepad. This value will get invisible once you refresh this page. Now go back to Overview, copy this client ID, save it somewhere, copy this tenant or directory ID, save it. These three client ID, tenant ID, and secret value will be required when you start consuming the web services in Postman. This is for authentication purpose. Now go to financial operation environment. Here in the search, type as your Active Directory application. Or you can navigate from system administration module click on new copy the client id from a notepad and add a user user should have proper privileges of those apis which you are going to test in Postman tool. I am here choosing admin account. That is mine account. Save it. If you not do this step, it will not, your system will not able to authenticate the API and you will not able to access the API data in Postman. Now, we are set, we are all set to ready to test the API in Postman tool. Now go back to your Postman tool.
click on new tab first of all we need to create a request which will generate a token from this token we will able to access finance and operation apis click a new request post in the url enter the url as mentioned here in the tenant id used earlier one which i saved in a notepad now go back to body of this request select x yeah you need to select form data now you need to add four keys to generate a token first one is grant type value should be client underscore credential then you need to write client underscore id use the client id which you saved earlier in previous step when you are registering the application portal.azure.com and client secret client secret use the value which you saved earlier And the last one is resource, which is your financial operation URL. Now we are all set to generate a token this request will just generate a token this token we will utilize in the next request to get the data from finance and operation and to test our apis click on send okay Oh, it is giving an error. It's saying the app requested an unsupported grant type. <clears throat> okay. Okay, it seems the mistake. Okay, no, it should work. It was a typo mistake in the spelling of client credential. So here you can see it generated an access token. This access token we will utilize to consume the Microsoft Dynamics 365 financial operation API in Postman tool. Now click on new request. Here you need to provide the URL of OData API, which you are going to test. If you type your instance URL slash data, you will be able to see all the endpoints which are available in your instance. For testing purpose, we are going to test customer groups.
okay this is our endpoint url api which we are going to test paste here <coughs> Here, I'm setting cross company true. I need to see all the data of this instance. You can filter it out on the basis of data area day also, but I need all the data. Go to authorization. Click on bearer token. Copy the token from your previous request and it's just here. Here you can see the status okay. So we have tested the API customer group successfully and it is returning all the customer groups which are available and saved in our finance and operation instance it's showing all those things you can see customer group 10 company usmf in the same way you can test other apis also that's it if you like my video please subscribe my channel and like Click on like button. Have a nice day. Thanks.